Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart 4 Home. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into a hot topic. How to expand the storage of your iPhone 15 Pro from 128GB to a whopping 512GB. Let's get started. First things first, the iPhone 15 Pro, like its predecessors, doesn't support expandable storage via microSD cards. But don't worry, there are several alternative solutions that we'll explore today. We'll cover three main methods cloud storage, external drives, and wireless drives. Each has its own benefits and drawbacks, so let's break them down. Method 1. Cloud Storage Services like iCloud, Google Drive, and Dropbox are fantastic for expanding your storage without any additional hardware. To upgrade your iCloud storage, go to Settings, tap on your name, then iCloud, and select Manage Storage. From here, you can choose a plan that suits your needs. iCloud integrates seamlessly with your iPhone, making it a convenient option. Method 2. External Drives This is a great option if you need a lot of storage and want to keep your files physically close. You'll need a compatible external drive and an adapter. Once connected, you can use the Files app to transfer and manage your data. It's a bit bulkier than cloud storage, but it's perfect for large files like videos and photos. Method 3. Wireless Drives Devices like the SanDisk Connect Wireless Stick allow you to expand your storage without any physical connections. Simply connect to the drive's Wi-Fi network and use the companion app to access and transfer files. It's portable and eliminates the need for cables, making it a versatile option. Conclusion. And there you have it. Three effective ways to expand your iPhone 15 Pro storage from 128 gigabytes to 512 gigabytes and beyond. Whether you choose cloud storage, an external drive, or a wireless drive, there's a solution that fits your needs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments which method you're going to try. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.